Hi friends, uh, I am Vinod. Welcome to my YouTube channel Win Civil World. In this video, we are going to discuss about the difference between shortcrete and canage. What is shortcrete? Shortcrete is a dry or wet mix of concrete or mortar sprayed to a vertical or overhead wall. And the concrete is conveyed through a hose and sprayed with high velocity through a nozzle. Shortcrete is also called sprayed concrete. The force imparted in the application process results in the adhesion to the strata. And what is granite or graniting? Actually, shortcrete and granite are same. Shortcrete spraying is done in two methods, that is dry process and wet process. And dry process of shortcreting is called graniting. Let us go through the dry process of graniting. Dry ingredients are premixed and placed in a hopper. Compressed air drives the material into the nozzle and water gets mixed with ingredients before going out of the nozzle. The material hits the surface with a super high velocity and adheres to the surface. Next is wet mix process or short crate. And this is the typical figure. Ingredients are premixed with water like conventional concrete. Concrete is fed in a pump Compressed air shoots the concrete through the nozzle. And uh, now let us have a comparison between granite versus shortcrete. First, we will discuss about ingredient mixing. In granite, the dry ingredients are mixed in the granite machine. Compressed air pushes the material through hose to the nozzle. And water is added from a separate source to the ingredient just before leaving the nozzle. Next is ingredient mix mixing in case of short reach. The ingredients are premixed like conventional concrete that is fed into a hopper and from there it is being sprayed. Flexibility and ease of application of granite and short reach. In case of granite, the ingredients are side mixed and water is added just before application. And because of that, work can be stopped and restarted without forming a cold joint. Even after we stop the work, still the material will stick to the old layer due to high velocity of application. And the applicators get more work time as the mixing is done at site. But in case of short creech, the ingredients are premixed and only pumping is done at site. Cold joints are formed if there is any stoppage in the application process. Old and new layers act as separate layers. And the cold joints usually leads to cracks. Any stoppage of work can hamper the quality and strength of concrete in case of short crate. We'll discuss about the applicator skill and quality in case of uh, granite and short crate. Granite is site mixed and consistency, quality, strength and workmanship depends on the skill of the nozzle operator. A super skilled operator is required to control water cement ratio and maintain consistency. But in the case of shortcrete, shortcrete is premixed. The ingredient quality, quantity and water cement ratio is maintained in the concrete manufacturing facility itself.
only the application quality depends on the operator skills consistency and concrete quality not dependent on the operator in case of short grid now we'll discuss about the water cement ratio in case of granite not nozzle operator controls the water cement ratio high water cement ratio can ruin the mix and low water cement ratio may choke the nozzle but in the case of short grid water cement ratio is controlled in production stage any water added inside to improve consistency reduces the strength and quality of concrete granite gives a strong and uniform finish and short grid gives a strong and consistent surface And next is rebound wastage. In case of uh, granite and short grit, the waste generated on rebound is very high in case of granite. These wastes are not to be reused and labor is required for cleaning. Next is economy. Granite is more economical than short grit. Granite uses only cement and sand mix mostly, but short grit uses 20 mm aggregate and is much more expensive than granite. What are the advantages of short grit or granite? Advantages of short grit. Short grit or granite spray is extremely economical and flexible than conventional concrete. For swimming pool and water retaining structures, short grit is preferred over conventional concrete. They are easy to spray and gives a joint-free, even and dense surface. Process of application. In case of short, short grit, High velocity spraying makes the concrete dense and less porous. In conventional concrete, concrete is placed and the surf placed on the surface and consolidated. Short grit is denser than and non-porous compared to conventional concrete because of the method of application. Next is shrinkage cracks. In case of short grit, short grit reduces shrinkage cracks and eliminates coal joints, produces an even, non porous, and dense concrete. Next is saving in time and expenses. Short grit eliminates shuttering activity. It's a main activity in construction that is shuttering activity and time required for shuttering and deshuttering and expenses for shuttering. Next is flexibility of uses, use, usage. Short grid can be used in congested areas where shuttering is not possible. Short grit can also be applied in any shape which is difficult to maintain in case of conventional concrete and shattering works. What are the uses of short grit or granite? They are used for light, reinforced and thin curtain walls. They are also used for making shell or shell and folded roofs. And they are also used for making lining or underground structures and tunnels. Swimming pools, water retaining structures, pre-stressed tanks, treatment plant structures, etc. uses this short grit or granite technology. They are also used for concrete repair and retrofitting works. They are used for structural steel encasing works. 
and canal lining, reservoir lining and repair of canal lining works. They are used for deep excavation slope protection and slope stabilization works and basement waterproofing works. This is all for granite and shotcrete and thank you for watching and subscribe my YouTube channel, like and share. Thank you.